got you. I finally got you, you rapscallion. Aces over kings, and that's double or nothing. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. That is one nice hand, Abracadabra. But don't beat this. <sighs> okay. Oh, you are not going to like this. 47 times 3, carry the 1. Oh, let's just call it an even 3 million. Damn it, I hate losing. I never lose. Well, you know, it's no biggie. You know, it's just a smile. If you can't afford it. No, no. I'm a man of honor. I make good on my debts. Yeah, I've heard that about you. Well, maybe we can work out a little trade, you know. And you probably have, you know, a lot of nice stuff. Cars, boats, houses. Well, there's my villa in Tuscany. My museum's in Vegas. I own Hitler's staff car, you know. Oh, you don't say. What about that uh, beautiful wife of yours? What are you saying? Well, she probably has a lot of nice jewelry. Oh, oh, oh for a moment there, I thought. Oh, oh. no, you thought. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I thought that you meant something else. Uh, you, but you're not suggesting. What, me? Good Lord, no. no I would no. never suggest no. such a thing. We don't want to get near that, do we? Besides, she is a beautiful woman. She is. Night with her would be worth twice what you lost. Anyway, let's talk staff car. Is that a ragtop? Excuse me, did you say twice? Charlie? Charlie, are you up here? Is that you? Is someone there? <gasps> All right. This isn't funny. I want to know who took my shoes right now, or I am going to start screaming. I mean it. <laughs> Hey, 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 oh, hey, slow her down. It was a joke. It's oh, me. It's Charlie. Get a grip. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you ever sneak up on me like that again. And where have you been all day? I was worried sick. You know, I blacked out in the supply closet and I don't remember a damn thing. Except this. I think I love you, Betty Rose. Oh, Charlie. And I want to take your clothes off and make love to you right here in this man-made jungle like a man-made jungle cat. A slow moving one, of course. Oh. oh, Charlie. Take me. Oh, take me. Oh, Charlie, take me. Please. You gotta choose. You gotta choose. You gotta choose. I don't know. Don't rush me. What's it gonna be, Nikki? Come on, Nikki. Decide. Decide. I don't know. What it's going to be, Nikki? Forgive me, Gamine. Forgive me, Gamine. You think I hate you! Very good, Nicholas. An excellent choice. And I'm sure you'll talk to Gamine tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. Good boy. Oh, hey, congratulate me, Nikki. I think I'm going to be a father.
Mm-hmm. You are amazing, Jim. Uh, you're not so bad yourself, Zach. No, I mean amazing. That was the best sex I've ever had. <laughs> I almost blacked out. Oh, it's the trunk. There's no air in here. No. It's you, Julie. Make love to me again. I was wondering when you'd ask. Oh, oh. oh. oh Julie. Oh. What is this guy's name again? Geyer. Geyer Hobbs. Geyer. And what do you want me to do with him again? Just have some drinks, you know, some laughs. Just talk to him. I don't know. It sounds weird. I don't even know this guy. But that's the whole point. He's very well connected, knows everyone in the fashion industry. I'm sure if you showed him a nice time, he can get your modeling career going again. You think so? I know so. And no hanky-panky? Well, that depends on your definition of hanky-panky. Nikki! Just kidding. No, no hanky-panky. Just some drinks and a few laughs, I swear. By the winds of Gaza, I swear. Okay, I will do it. Great. Here's his card. Now, you'll meet him for lunch at Maxime's and then, you know, spend the afternoon with him. Mm, it feels warm. Is it bad? Gentlemen, he needs radical open heart surgery within the hour and some time in the tanning booth. Is he strong enough to sign his name on a check? Sorry. No, Kirby, don't be sorry. If he dies, he takes his $25 million with him and the hopes and the dreams and the livelihoods of the entire clinic staff and everyone we care for. Dr. Schwartz, you better get scrubbed up. You've got major surgery to perform. Oh, what surgery is that? On this guy, who else? Oh, no, 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 not me. You gotta find Rand. He's the only one on staff who can handle this. Doctor, we're desperate here. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Good luck, boys. <laughs> Morning, Betty Boop. Morning, Patsy. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Sundown, I'm a hardcore antisocial loner. At sunrise, I'm <laughs> Patsy. <laughs> Kind of gives you hope for tomorrow, doesn't it? You know, Betty, we could do it. Just the two of us. We, we could start a whole new world right here in this garden paradise. We could live naked and free and in harmony with nature and we wouldn't have to be ashamed. No, we'd be proud of our nakedness. And we'd live off the fat of the land. Kind of like Adam and Eve. How so? Got me, you nerdy birdie. Oh. oh, Charlie, I almost forgot. Tell you about your father. I think he wants to hurt you. I know that. I kind of realized it yesterday when he made this totally cynical attempt to patch things up with me. Aren't you afraid? No, I'm not. After last night, I realized that there's just no room in my world for hate or fear anymore. I gotta try to love my father, even if he is a monster. Does that sound completely crazy? No, not at all. You just, you be careful. Sweet, crazy man child. Mm. Oh, I have to get going. I have an appointment with Nurse Delmore. I'm gonna cure that woman, Charlie. That's the spirit. Are you coming? No, I, uh, I don't clock in till noon. I think I'll just hang here a while, sip a coldy.
coming from the clinic. I was looking all over for you. Are you all right? Did you see my friend? Dr. Rand, don't you think we should move this along? Are you accusing me of something, Van Hoon? I'm not accusing you of anything, but I see no reason to dawdle over an open chest cavity. There's somebody in there. It's okay. I'm clergy. Prepare to die like the malnourished weasel that you are. Ah! Mm. Ah! 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 Ah!